Hi uh, guys, Andy here from Home Glow, coming to you live from my van this morning. So his job today is to change a return sub-manifold on a Worcester Green Star combi boiler. So I kid you not, I've done one of these before. You have, uh, it is quite an in-depth job. It's not a nice job at all uh, to change one of these parts. But I'm going to show you a walkthrough video on how to take out the actual sub-manifold. You've got to take out the floor manifold as well. Bit, literally strip the guts out of the boiler um, to be able to do this. So this video is just purely for that, showing you how to uh, take out the sub-manifold. So as you can see, this boiler will need a new fluid gasket as well, as it's uh, breaching the top of the burner seal. So we'll change this also. So there's a drain off under this boiler to drain the central heating circuit. Don't forget to turn off the cold water supply and uh, drain your hot water circuit as well. So thing, what we'll do now is take out this condensate trap from the boiler. Generally easy to do. Move the black tube from the condensate tube and then the hardest bit here is to release the clip to be able to pull the trap forward. So I'm going to use a screwdriver just to hold up the clip whilst I pull the trap forward to remove from the boiler. this away safely now. Don't forget to, uh, when you start removing things, to protect the PCB from any uh, drips or spills. Uh, it's the last thing you want to be doing is replacing the board as well. It'll become a very expensive job. So I'll undo the nuts as well. Just to note that you don't need to undo the gas to get removed the sub manifold. So you've got a silver clip there that holds the pump to the side of the sub manifold. And you can see where the sub manifold is breached at the back, where all the lime scale deposit is. First thing we need to do is, well, uh, after you've turned, isolated the water and drained your whole water supply, is drain the boiler. You can do this through this uh, drain off directly underneath. Okay, we've got a drain off here. You could use the drain off on the boiler, which I'm not a big fan of doing. Um, and sometimes the water can go onto the board, PCB. Let's just remove all the system pressure. Shouldn't take long to drain. And then we'll start to undo the nuts on the boiler. So we'll do the cold inlet first, which is this one here. And then we'll proceed to the central heating one. And then you do the reverse on the second two nuts in from the left. As I said, you don't need to undo the gas, which is the central one. Where really the boiler starts to suck in again, sucking air when you undo the nuts, uh, which is a good sign, good noise. Also, just to note, I've removed the uh, plug head of the pump, which release, uh, releases uh, the electrics from the pump and exposes the white jack with the three pins on it. Just take your time, we, it is an awkward job to begin with, so just take your time, that's the only thing I can suggest. Don't forget to cover the PCB with a rag or a blanket as well, when you get to a certain point to remove things. And then, what we need to do is release this clip here, which is on the top of the pump. I like to use a pair of grips, Rothenberger grips. Squeeze the plastic clip together and then you let it just go and it'll just go to the right and then you can use your fingers to, to uh, undo it. It's not a nut that you keep having to twist, you just uh, push it to the right and that's it. As you can hear the air has been sucked in, you know it's been released. Don't forget to do the same on the far left one as well as the whole of this bottom section is going to be removed. Also release the expansion tube, pull the clip forward and 
and then you would remove the expansion tube like so. Undo the silver clip there, pull it forward, and it will then allow you to pull the pump to the left and remove it. So there's just two connections on the pump, one that goes on the right, and then the plastic clip, the uh, white clip at the top, and then the pump just pulls to the left. Don't forget to undo the screw on the floor manifold, which are the, I've just shown you on the picture, which will release that. Two screws there to relieve, release the plate to plate as well. The reason why you've got to remove it all is because of the bypass tube that I'm holding there. This uh, just doesn't allow it to uh, pull the right hand side forward, so you have to remove the whole lot. That's where the sub manifold is uh, perished and pin on. Once you've got it out, take off the uh, the old manifold, the old sub manifold, off the bypass tube. And then, like I said, just take your time and rebuild in reverse order. I have got a new pressure relief valve for this as it's on the back side of the valve. So that's it. That's the demonstration over how to remove it. I hope it will come in handy this video. Please subscribe if you enjoyed it and gears a like. Thanks for watching guys. Horrible valve. <laughs>